Amanda, why this late? He threw me out. Who? That poor gardener. So what do you intend to do? What do you mean by that? Spend the night in your place, of course. Amanda, Amanda, listen to me. You know I love Rose so much and I don't want to have problem with Rose just and I have to that. Oh, Amanda, you just... What's wrong with you? Where are your manners? Listen, the secrecy of this relationship depends on how well you play your card. Do you understand? Bruno. And who is this thing? No, she's not a thing. She's my cousin. Your what? She's my cousin. Since when? Young lady, what are you doing in this house? Whip. Come on, come here. Of all the things I have to contend with, not you. Are you out of your mind? I left this house barely one hour ago and you bring in another... Meet me in the bedroom. The bedroom. I think I was rather too harsh on her. I better go looking for her. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Wake up, wake up. It's 8 a.m. What? I thought it was. Wake up! What? I didn't know it was this. Oh, oh, oh. now I have what? to go. Good morning. Why did you spend the night? Yeah, Amanda. Outside the house. Outside where? I searched all the corners of this compound but did not see you. I went back to the church to sleep. I see. I got to the gate, but the security men say they did not see you go in or come out of the estate. What is all this? I have just told you where I slept. What is it? Uh -uh. Are you doubting me? I slept at the church. What is it? Meanwhile, why are you worried about where I slept? Were you not the one that sent me out? You sent me out and now you're asking, uh, asking me where I slept. I'm very sorry, Amanda. I'm sorry. I have now realized that I overreacted. Please, forgive and forget. <laughs> I'm sorry. You look not fair to me. You're not being fair to me, oh. I married you out of the love that I have for this family. I condescended to marry you. Eh? What do you have? What do you have? It's not like you have everything. Eh? A common gardener, I'm old enough to be my father, yet I married you. It's okay. Why would you just take me as a wife? Enough, 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 Amanda, enough. Enough. I've already said I am sorry. It's not so fair the way you're treating me. It's just, not fair. Yes, just go I, I don't like this, so I don't. Just go over. Please. I've done everything to make you happy. Yet, what is it? Is it a crime to love you? 
Yeah. It's enough now, Amanda. It's enough. You don't be chasing me, chasing me anyhow. It's enough. <laughs> Alice, you know I'm writing my last paper tomorrow. Uh -huh. So when is Bruno coming to pick us up? Huh? Didn't you just ask that? <laughs> I can't believe you asked that, you know. Come, don't tell me you didn't include uh, welfare in your family planning. <laughs> Alice, please, when are you going to stop all this, your insinuations? Stop what? What am I insinuating? <laughs> stop all this. Okay. I'll speak no more. But all I know is that, hey, Call lover boy and let's get out of here. Call him now so that he'll take us home. Okay, now he's my lover boy, huh? Eh? Uh, before. Hmm. I don't blame you, Sha. Uh -huh. I'm going to call him later. It's just that you have a foul mouth. What is the foul mouth? Is it not your lover boy? Uh -uh. So, so I can't just have a friend anymore. What is your problem? Stop all. He's my cousin, you know. My closest cousin. We are this tight. This close. So leave all these things, okay? <laughs> we know all these things, alright? So forget it. What could be keeping Amanda outside so very late at night? Her nocturnal life is becoming habitual. I think I'd better go look out for her. Anyone home? Dear? Uh, Where is this room? Are you upstairs? Hello, my dear. I was just calling out to you. Amanda, where are you calling from? The church. Church, church, church. Through which gate did you go to church? What is that supposed to mean? The main gate, of course. There's only one exit and entrance into this estate. You're a liar. A big one. Uh -uh. I have been at that gate for over five hours. Amanda, you did not cross that gate at all. And the security man there confirmed that you never crossed that gate today. So, you have now abandoned your job as a gardener? You have become Amanda's security watch, eh? Okay, all right. Take me to where you're coming from. I want to know who has been keeping you so late. What do you take me for? Your house girl or your slave? Uh, I would not take that from you. I do not. Ah! I should take you to where? What is that supposed to mean? Ah! Amanda, you have the call to talk to me this way. What is that supposed to mean? Why are you sniffing around? What is it? What are you following me around for? For God's sake, Amanda, get up there and pack your things. Leave my house now. Me? Leave yes. your house? <laughs> you must be joking because I'm not leaving. Yeah. I am not going anywhere. And if I must leave, then you have to pay me. For all those months that you've been parading yourself as my husband, using me, now you think you can just throw me out like that? You must be joking, no? Because I'm not leaving. Okay, just wait. You will know who is strong.
Don't even think about it, Amanda. Don't! How dare you in your widest room think of moving into my house? What will become of Rose? How do I explain that to her? Rose, 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 everywhere I go, Rose! Sweetheart, we're lovers. Damn what anybody thinks. Let's, let's just enjoy what we have. Amanda, I want to remind you that you threw yourself at me. My commitment is to Rose, not you. But the only thing I can do for you right now is to let you in for today. By tomorrow, I expect you to look for somewhere else to stay. I'm bringing Rose back from school. Rose and Alice are coming back from school. They're on vacation. I am so disappointed in you. I placed so much reliance on you. You are the reason that I've been thrown out of the house. And now you can't even give me the solace that I desire. How can you do this mean? <laughs> Trying will not solve this problem. My advice to you is go and plead with Rose to talk to her father into accepting you back to their house. But as for your demand, Amanda, put yourself in my shoes. Put yourself in my shoes! Oh God, what have I done to myself? What? man like you offer anybody. Why do you people always listen to other people talk and then you copy what they say? What do I offer you? What can you offer yourself? And come to our house. You know who, who we are? Baba, GK and uh, Ben. I hope I'm safe with this, your visit. Well, <clears throat> your safety shall be determined by you. Yes. We have been appointed as trustees to this estate and we've assessed this apartment and decided that henceforth you shall be paying 250000 per annum. What? Obejik, you should have told him 500000 naira for him to negotiate. Mm -hmm. You know me, I like to go straight to the point. You don't want him to have a heart attack? Abayajike. Chief Mezir Madu, who is the owner of this estate, allocated this building to me as my official quarters. So what, what are you people talking about? <laughs> as your official quarters? Yes! Nothing. Where on earth do they allocate a duplex like this? As big as this. To a common gardener like you as an official quarter? We are. It is not for you to decide. Nati, you have been informed. Do not say we did not tell you. You have one month to comply. And if you fail to do so, you will leave us with no other choice but to evict you from this estate and throw you on the streets. Let me see where you will do gardener work and be able to eat, not to talk about. Sit, sit, sitting here or living in a duplex and telling me it's your official quarters. I look like it to you. Nati, do not wait for us to come back here again. Oba. Oh, what is keeping Bruno now? Ah, see if he doesn't know we are coming today. You better be Bruno. Come in. Hey, hey, here comes the long awaited guest. Mm. My suitcase is ready. Ah, oh, yeah. oh, good morning, ma. You came with him? Yes. <laughs> My suitcase is ready. I've been waiting for you since. Right, right. But as if you forgot, we are leaving today. You are? Wow. 
See who came to take me back home. You're welcome. Okay. How are you? What is it? What? What happened? <sighs> Your father threw me out of the house. Threw you out? Why? What, what did he do? He said I came back late. And where did you go to? To the church. Well, not to worry. We're all going back home together. Don't mind my dad. He said I shouldn't come back to that. I don't mind you. You're all going back together. It doesn't have a choice now. The guy is just being jealous and I'm not protecting him. No, no, he's in love. <laughs> Let me just get dressed real quick, okay? I, I was just trying to tell you something, didn't I? I'll be back. Just make yourself comfortable. I'll be back. Let me get dressed. Okay. okay. Please make it quick. I want to get out of here. Uh, sir. Yeah. Please, I, I came to plead with you to. Please give me some time to prepare myself and get another smaller place to pack out into. Please. What are you talking about? Hey, because of the uh, new rent attached to my apartment, sir. What rent? Uh, sir, OBAJK and uh, Bain came to my house. Uh, they told me that they were now appointed uh, trustees to the estate. And that my annual rent henceforth would be two hundred and fifty thousand. What? I, I don't have the money. Obejike, yes. please ignore them. I didn't send them. In fact, go and tell Obejike that I want to see him right away. Hey, okay, sir. Rent, trustees, just go. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What is wrong with this? Have you brought the money, Gardner? Uh, not, not quite, sir. Uh, Chief Mezimado asked me to tell you to see him in that regard. <laughs> you mean you reported me to him? No, no, sir. Do you realize that Mezimado is my younger brother? Huh? And that in our family setting, I have more authority than him. Huh? Well, that, that is not the issue here, sir. What is the issue? In this case, uh, Mezir Mado is the owner of the estate and not your family, sir. Now get out of my house now. Get out! Get, get, get out! Get out! Out! Get out! Mm. Foolish man! You see what I have been saying about Mezir and the things he does? You know, bring my image down before an ordinary gardener. That is insulting. I give an order to a gardener, he can't ask it. And that one comes to sit down on my chair to tell me that I should go and see my brother in connection with his pain for staying in the estate. Can you imagine? Eh? Gardner. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really know whether he realizes that blood is Thicker than water. He needs to. He needs to be taught. Rose, my rose. Rose, daddy is back. Good evening, sir. My God, what are you doing in my house, Amanda? Um, it, it's. Now get Rosa. out before I pull this house down. Get out, daddy. I said, get out here before I pull this house down. Daddy, wait. She's no. not going anywhere. What is it? Will you shut your trap or I'll shut it for you? Now leave this house before I strangle you. Daddy, if she leaves, I'll leave with her. Uh, now get out. Daddy, daddy, please, please. I've never seen in this kind of rage before. What, what did she do? Now she has to leave this house first. Okay, Amanda, just wait outside, okay? Wait outside. Daddy, what did she do now? Eh? I told you I needed all the peace in this world. I, I've never wanted to marry any other woman. But you lured me into living with this woman all in the name of a helping hand. And the help doesn't come from her. I wash my clothes myself. I cook my food myself. All she does is to flirt around with me and come back to this house anytime she wants. Ah, Daddy. 
That's not fair. You know Amanda would never do a thing like that. Huh. You're only being jealous. I mean, she told me she went to church and she came back late, but... That is a cheap lie, my dear. That is a cheap lie. Listen, the person she's going out with lives within this estate. And on that fateful day, it was evident that she never crossed the gates of this estate. Daddy, to tell you the truth, you are not being fair to this woman. Come on. I mean, even if you want to send her away, why don't you just spare her this embarrassment? We can all sit down and discuss this thing out like adults. Listen, Rose, I don't like what you are doing. You have always been at my neck each time I take pragmatic decisions. And I don't like it. I don't like it. Please, now, just this once. Please. Just this once now, Daddy. Okay. All right. Call her in. Thank you. Um, Amanda. Amanda. Mm. Why did your father throw her out? <sighs> the truth of that matter is that my dad is just being jealous. Mm. He's accusing Amanda of cheating on him. Oh. So funny. So these old people could go jealous. It's not funny. Daddy is so convinced. You know what he said? He said he's so sure that her so-called boyfriend lives in the same estate. Could it be that he hired some detective to investigate on her? See, there's one thing nobody can take away from my dad. That's his intelligence. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's just be sure his insinuations are wrong after all. Otherwise, she could be fooling your father. <sighs> well. For some reason, I'm very sure, I'm convinced that she would never do a thing like that, so... Dad will get her very, just probably old age or something, I don't know. But what do you think? I think nothing. It bothers one that Rose left this house since morning, and she's not yet back. Look at the time. I don't know if I should go looking for her. Where did she go? She went to see that her boyfriend um, I don't know his name. The one he came to the house with the other time. Rose will have to severe her relationship with that boy immediately. She has to. I think she so to too. Her. I think so too. Good evening. Mama, good evening. Good evening. Rose, where are you coming from? Uh, I went to see a friend. Eh? Which one? Bruno, the guy I came home with the other time. You know, you will have to see that relationship you have with that guy immediately. Why? Oh, why? <clears throat> because men are heartless, deceitful, and undependable. That is it. Daddy, it's not fair for you to, you know, generalize on all of them like that. Who knows, Bruno could just be an exception. Rose, I'm not asking for your opinion. I am passing an instruction, okay? Rose, come, come this way. You see, what your father has just said is not out of place. It is morally and spiritually wrong for you to keep male relationships. Why don't you just wait until you're married like me? Then you can have any, you know, enjoy your relationship and do whatever you want to do. Rose! Rose! Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. Yes, my I have a surprise package for you. A surprise? Uh-huh. What surprise? I will show you. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Amanda. I don't believe it. Happy you. birthday to you. Oh my god. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Amanda. Happy birthday to you. She went to the market. Market? When? Since morning. <laughs> you see? You see what I've been saying about her? You see it? Daddy, she told me today was her birthday. That she loves to go to the market and buy a few things for herself. It's just that she's taking a bit too long. Okay. You know what they do for me? You go to the church. If you find her there, then you come back with her. Church? Yes, I know what I mean. Go to the church. Okay. been up to eight hours since you came and then um, I, I don't want you to have problem with your family don't you think it's time for you to go what is this supposed to mean are you asking me to leave uh, no 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 Amanda I you don't have to misunderstand right. me I'll go no no you don't have to misunderstand me it's just that I don't want you to have problems with your people <laughs> sweetheart once I have you Every other problem is surmountable. <clears throat> Come to bed. Daddy, there's no one in the church. The church keys are under lock and key. There's no one there. I said there's no activity going on there today. I see. Well, I am very happy that you are a witness to this one, Rose. Daddy, cool it. Don't preempt anything yet. All right. Okay, but I know what I'm saying. I really don't know what you're doing. I'm sticking to you. Amanda, I, I don't like what you're doing. Eh? You don't have to behave like a small girl. Look at the time. It's getting late. Come on, come on, start going. I don't want you to cause problems for yourself. Alright, I'll leave. Welcome. Ah, leave me, John. Something I want to tell don't you. tell me anything. Ah. You have to behave like a mature woman. Bruno, that's an insult, you know. Whatever. Has it caught into that? All right, I'm leaving. Had enough of these insults. I'm just tired of taking these insults from you anyway. What is it? 
every time I come here, you must make me feel bad before I leave. Huh? Must you insult me all the time because... coming from? The church. The church. And did you say you were going to the church? I decided to go from the market. Meaning you are just coming back from the church now. So how long were you at the church? About five hours. I've been at the church since 2 p.m. Rose, what happened when you got to the church basically? There is no activity going on in the church. The church gates are on the lock and key. What is the meaning of this? Uh, what is this supposed to mean? I don't have a life of my own anymore. With due respect, I am married to you. I'm your wife, not your maid. I just told you where I'm coming from. It's either you take it or you leave it. Excuse me. No, did you see it? house since morning. Came back this evening. Can't you still have the mouth to rant? Rose, I've tolerated enough nonsense from you and your father. As you can see, I'm trying to undress. Please excuse me. <laughs> no. There is no way I am leaving this room until I get some sort of explanation to all of this. Very well. If you do not want to excuse me, I'll excuse you. You know, my stay here will be very short. You know, my father has warned me against coming to see you. I just don't want him to have any idea that I came out. I really relied on your coming today. I was hopeful you are going to help me tidy my room and at the same time prepare food for me. Hell no. That can't be possible. Okay, look, I'll, I'll just help you tidy up your room. But it won't be time for me to make food for you today. <laughs> Bruno, guess what? What is it? You won't believe it. I have finally confirmed that Amanda has a boyfriend. Really? I'm telling you. Who could that be? I don't know. It's only time that will tell. Time will surely tell who the person is. You know, yesterday was her birthday. This guy gave her gifts, gave her romantic cards, perfumes, wristwatches, name. Where were you? I was looking for you. I stepped out to see a friend. I hope not that same friend of yours. What's his name again? What is his name? No, not him. Okay. Should your father ask after me? Um, I'm going out. I'll be back soon. Where to? I'm going to see a friend. Wait, wait. Have you made anything for him to eat when he returns? You're asking your house girl. You can't cook. Hmm? I'm sorry. You better be. To me. What is the problem? I'm fed up with the entire game. What does that mean? I can't continue to play between you and Rose. I know your aim is to separate Rose and I. I don't understand you. You don't understand me. Amanda, you left a condom by my bed drawer and you left your underpants in my room 
when you know that you are not the only woman that comes in here. Oh, it was in your room I left them. You know, I've been looking all over the place for it. I had to walk home without my underwear. Can you imagine that? Amanda, please leave my house. Sweetheart, don't you think you're rather taking this too harsh? I will not have anything to do with you until I make up with Rose. If I don't have Rose, I will not have you. My commitment is to Rose, not you. Oh, you just realized that? Yes! Please, leave. <laughs> you think I'm going to walk out that door just like that and let you be? And that's what you're going to do right now. You best think again, because I would not let go. Oh. We started this together. We will finish it. Really? I will excuse you for now. I'll come back when you are seen. Leave my house! Where is Amanda? Uh, she went out to see a friend. Where? That I don't know. And what did she cook for me? Nothing. But I'm trying to make you something to eat. There's something on the fire. I see. This marriage is becoming very, very interesting. You know, I, I feel like marrying more and more wives. Dad, that is so ironical. <laughs> really? Look, Dad, it's okay. Let me go and check what I put on the fire. Okay. It's me, Bruno. Don't exaggerate. Alice, there's something important I need to discuss with you. Um, can I see you? As soon as possible. Naughty cousin, please come tomorrow. Please, I'm begging you. Huh? Okay. Amanda. So you left this house without leaving any food for me, eh? But why, why is it that my daughter will always bother herself to cook when I have a wife? If I may ask you, what do you think is the purpose of this marriage? I ask you too. What is the purpose of this marriage? To wash my clothes, you can't. Make food for me, you can't. Then all you do is to leave this house and come in anytime you like. Buy me clothes, you don't. Give me money, you don't. Make love to me, you don't. All you do is every morning you wear those oversized boots of yours into the garden the whole day. Now you have mouth to complain. Amanda. Eh, eh, don't Amanda me. Don't Amanda me. This is between husband and wife. It does not concern you in any way. So shut those ma that mouth of yours. Leave her. Leave her, let her insult me. Go ahead. I don't blame you. I only blame death that took my wife away and left the cab for this animal to take advantage of. Me, animal. Of course, yes. Me, animal. Yes! Well, it takes an animal to marry an animal. Jesus Christ. Did you see that? Daddy, I'm so sorry.
Yeah, come in. Hi. Oh, Alex, Alex. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm okay, you're looking fine. Thank you. So what is the calling about? Um, Alex. Mm? I need you to help me talk to Rose to come back to me. I'm having a slight problem with her. And I know that you're the only one that can talk to her to come back to me. So what exactly is the problem? Well, actually, I'll tell you. Mm. She saw a condom and a lady's underpants in my wardrobe. Is that what you call a slight problem? Alex, mm. I will appreciate it if you despair her conviction and let her come back to me. Too bad. He's not nice at all. So, what is the guarantee that you not repeat this again? Oh, trust me. I cross my heart. I cross my heart. If you want me to cross my leg, I'm going to do it right now. He's not going to repeat itself again. You know me now. I won't want to go back there over this. I know. In that case, what? Mm. What? <laughs> My fee. Miss Missionary. Okay, I will sort you out. Just go and do the job first. You're still keeping my hand high here. Alice, trust me. I'll give you something. Deal. It's a deal. Signed. It's a deal. Sealed. It's a deal. Hey, I'm going to their house. It's, it's, it's a deal. Deal. Don't upset her no, again. No, no. It's all right. Um, Rose, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Forgive me. I'm very, very sorry. It's all right. Come on, sit here. <coughs> Alex, Alex. Uh, I don't know. We are resuming next weekend. I, oh. I just hope you and Rose will include coming to take us back to school into your love no, agenda. No problem, no problem. Rose, please remind him. I'll tell him. Oh, okay. So, bye. Alex, bye bye. Oh, baby girl. <laughs> oh, baby. I'm sorry, right? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay. What, what do you want to take? Nothing, I'm fine. You're okay. You don't want to take anything. It's alright.
There's something that bothers me. Now what could it be? You know, the next semester is about to resume. Yes, I know. When I think about all the financial difficulties I'll have to go through again this time, considering the fact that you don't have money to give to me, it bothers me. <laughs> if I were able to see you through the last uh, semester, I think I should be able to see you through this one too. Mm -hmm. Daddy, we are saying the same thing. Look, I just don't want to go through what I went through last semester again. Well, I'm convinced within me that I sent enough money to you last semester. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, please. In this modern year and age, how would you expect 2,000 naira to be enough for my registration, accommodation and feeding? To what? 2,000 naira? Yeah, hey, now that's the only money you gave to me last semester. Come on. Don't be mischievous, my dear. Are you out of your senses? Me sent 2,000 naira to you? Daddy, I'm sorry, but... That's all the money you give to me now. I have never sent 2,000 naira to you. The first amount of money I sent for your registration was 30,000 naira. The least amount of money I sent to you through Amanda was 5,000 naira. Yes! Uh, well, I, I... I didn't get any such amount of money. I just got the 2,000 naira man that said you gave to me. That was all. Wait a minute. And you did not come home on your own. Better still write to me to find out why. Uh, I'm surprised. Dad, I wrote you several letters. Yes. What? I wrote you letters severally. I just resigned to my fate when Auntie made me understand that your health was, you know, getting very feeble because of my academic burden. I just did not want to aggravate the whole situation. That's why I... Get me Amanda. She's not at home. She's not at home? Okay. Just let me know when she returns. Tell me when she comes back. Bruno. I came here today for us to define this relationship. What am I to you? Just a friend. What kind of friend? A friend without any ties. And what about the intimacy we shared? Oh, that was in the past. I'm calling everything off because I want to be faithful to Rose. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Because if I can't have you, no one else, least of all Rose, will. And once I leave this place, I'm going straight to have a chat with her. I think it is high time she knows about us. What? Yes. Yeah. Amanda, Amanda. Hey, Amanda, wait. Amanda, wait. Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. I wonder why are you behaving like this? I thought you said it's going to be a secret between both of us. Well, I changed my mind. The minute that you made up your mind to abandon me. Goodbye. Come, come. Amanda, come. I am very, very sorry. But I was only joking. I know what you want to hear from me right now. Okay, I'll tell you. You are still there with me. It's okay. It eh? reminds me. No, I'm telling you the truth. Look at my face. Look into my eyes. I'm serious. Come on. Amanda, hi. Amanda. Oh, stop it. I'm saying that from the heart. Um, I'm from What's the... wrong with you? Stop. From here. Come on. <laughs> drop your bag. Come on. Drop your bag. <laughs> Amanda, baby. It's okay. Oh. I missed you. I missed you too. Show me how much. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Wake up, sir. Yes. Where is your friend again? Oh, he's not at home. Uh, hey, yeah, he went out. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sir. I didn't know he's still at home. I thought he's gone. I see. I have come to tell you how disappointed I am with you. Why do you go around the estate harassing people like this accommodation to parent you? This is embarrassing to my person. Now, let me tell you. Let me tell you, Monsieur Madam, irrespective of your wealth, you are still a very small boy to me. You understand? I have tolerated your insults enough, and you are going to regret this. 
you will regret it. I don't want you to demand any dime from anybody living in my estate. Is that clear? No, no, see what I'm saying. Can I go anywhere and tell anybody that this is my daughter that is behaving this way and they believe me? Eh? You mean letting me before before a gardener and, and, and all these inconsequential people? A boy you are trained in school? He regret it. What kind of rubbish is that? Who does he think he is? He had to shout at somebody for nothing. Amanda, what happened to all the money I gave to you for rules on different occasions? What sort of question is that? Rose! So how much did you say you got from Amanda last semester? 2,000 Naira. The other 2,000 she told me about, she never gave it to me. So what is all this rubbish about 2,000 Naira? Did I give you only 2,000 Naira for her? What is wrong with giving Rose money out of my discretion? The 2,000 Naira that I gave to you was from my personal purse. What's wrong with that? Then what happened to the 30,000 Naira and the 10,000 Naira I gave to you for her? Rose. You mean that boy, um, what's his name, B Bruno? You mean he didn't give you the money that I gave to him? Bruno gave me money, but that was out of his own purse. What makes you think it's from his purse? Oh, it's not my fault that I gave your boyfriend money to give to you, and he decides to use it to pose as if it was coming from his purse. Daddy, Bruno gave me money. That was because money was not coming from home, so he just took that responsibility of helping me. The money he gave to me was from his own personal pocket, and not, not from her. Listen to yourself. I didn't know you were such a big fool. What does he do for a living? Or what did you do for him that is paying? Didn't you think about it? Rose, that money came from me and not him. You see? You see what I've been telling you about me? That young man is irresponsible. Thank God you even acknowledge that he gave you money at all. This is just a tip of the iceberg. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't agree. I do not. In fact, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to go and confront Bruno on this. Oh, fine and well. If you excuse me. On several occasions, I was giving money to give to Rose. On one occasion, I lost it to street robbers. On the, on the second, I misplaced it. Now they're asking after the money. Amanda, how could you have done a thing like that? I didn't come here for you to question me. I came for you to offer help. Rose will be here any minute from now. And I told her, say this, how would Rose rate me? 
how she rates you is inconsequential. Are you helping me or not? time. Really? Why do you ask? Do you know last semester? How many times did she give you money to give to me? Um, um, okay. Well, well, well. Um, she gave me money on several occasions, but um, I decided not to inform you since I cut off your needs. God, I am so disappointed in you to say the least. You made me believe that that money came from your pocket. And to think that I actually complained to you, telling you that my father couldn't cut off my needs. Little did I know that he was actually giving me more than enough and you decided to take the glory. Russ, please, you don't have to misunderstand me. I am sorry. I am very, very sorry. You're nothing close to what I thought you were. Please, baby. That's enough. Rose, Rose. Amanda was right. Bruno confirmed that he actually collected money from her on several occasions. But he just misrepresented the whole thing. Hmm. You see, he misrepresented the money given to him by someone else to give to you. That is criminal. Rose, I tell you once again, Severe every relationship you have with that young man. Please. Really, I don't want to have anything to do with him anymore. Oh, good. Good. Just, I still have a few of my things there. Now go right away and pick them up, okay? Okay. I will. Good. I'm telling you. The guilt of what I'm doing is weighing me down. And Rose will never forgive me. What does it matter whether she forgives you or not? You did it for me. For me. What is it, Rose? I'm asking you, my daughter, what is the problem? Okay. So he refused you taking your things, eh? Then what is it? Daddy. Yes. 
Amanda is the best. I caught Amanda in bed with Bruno Daddy. What? Just repeat what you said. You caught Amanda in bed with your boyfriend. <laughs> you see? You are still a little girl to understand. I saw the beast in Amanda so many years ago. This will teach you a very big lesson as a young girl. You trust nobody except God. You've seen what you've been looking for. Eh? Leave my house. Leave my house now and don't step in here again. We're in this together. Stop playing the victim. You're the devil. You're the devil, serious one. Don't play with me. What is that? How do you want me to come face them now? Don't allow me to be broke I'm not going. Get out of this place now. You're not going there. Badly hurt you must feel now, but I'm truly sorry. I shouldn't have done this, but I'm sure that that Bruno boy, I'm sure he hypnotized me. Because, I mean, how could I do this? You know what pains me the most? It is a fact that I've just come to realization that you have no conscience. So you have defied shame. And you still feel the fix to step into this house again. Let me explain this. Please send me your stupid explanation. I couldn't have done this, you know. I, I'm just sure. Shut, 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 shut up. That boy must have hypnotized shut me. Shut up. Your mouth. You just disgust me. Amanda. Could you, could you, could you? Please get up there and gently pack your things. I mean, pack your things and leave my house this moment. I should have known you were a pig. Now go back to the slums where you belong. <laughs> 